Okay, I'm going to be doing a rinseless wash today on the Miata inside the garage. It's about 25 degrees out this morning, so not taking the pressure washer outside. Uh, got everything set up, a bucket with uh, wheel cleaning tools, IK foamer uh, with brake buster diluted 5 to 1. Got our rinseless solution in the Adams bucket uh, with O&R and the Ultra Black Sponge and an IK Malte 12 sprayer. Uh, it also has about one cap full of O&R solution, the rest filled with uh, water to rinse the wheels off and pre-treat the car. So here's kind of the solution. It's been a couple of weeks since the car's been washed. Got some leaves caked up in the under, uh, underneath the wheel wells and Typical fall road debris for the northeast on the side of the car. So I'll put you down, show you uh, how I kind of clean the wheels. Do one wheel, um, go around the car, and come back for pre-treating the O&R solution. All right, I've got all four wheels and tires done. And since I rinse with that O&R solution, I just leave them wet like this until the end. I'll dry those last. So don't have to worry about spotting or anything like that. Um, next, I'll go around the car with the IK sprayer. Treat with the O&R. Uh, remember, rinseless means that rinsing is optional. Doesn't mean that you don't have to rinse. So I always, uh, especially in the, during the winter time, Give the car a good spray down with the multi-sprayer. Try to get some of this heavy debris off the lower portions of the car. Uh, really don't want that, you know, getting stuck in the black sponge or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'll set you down, show you what that looks like, and bring you back for drying and um, topping up with bead maker, treating the wheels and tires, etc.
we'll take some bead maker and an initial white towel, final white towel, clean up some of these areas. Maybe we didn't get as well in the uh, initial wash. That's because we have a little bit of sap here, a little bit of sap there. So as we're going around drying uh, the rest of the water and applying bead maker, we'll just touch up some of those areas. All right, almost done. Got all the wheels and tires dried. The rest of the car treated with bead maker. Um, got Carpro Pearl here and an Adams Black Foam sponge as the final step. There you have it. I'll let that sit. I'll go around the car, uh, do all the three remaining tires, come back around with a microfiber and knock down a little bit of shine, make sure there's no excess hiding out in uh, the tracks and crevices of the uh, lettering on the tire.